I'm an explorer, you're an explorer. So soil gets deposited over long periods of time. And as it gets deposited and left behind, sometimes different types of soil get left behind at different times. But that's something you don't normally get to see because it's all under your feet. All you see is the top of the soil, but you don't see what's beneath it. But sometimes you can actually find a place where you can see beneath the soil. Now I'm standing in a little deep area here at Congaree National Park. And this kind of hole that I'm standing in, I want you to think if maybe it's natural or man-made. Think about it for just a second. Is it left here by nature or did humans make it? Now, if you said that humans made it, you'd be right. This hole was actually created when they had to bring soil from one place to another to build a parking lot. So this is a human made hole, but it does help us get a look at what's underneath the top of the soil. So if you look at the soil here, you can actually see that we have this big sandy layer right here. So there's a lot of sand in the top layer of soil, but at the very top, you can see all of the plants that have been left behind, the leaves and sticks, that's the humus. And then mixed in with this sand, you may find some clay, you may find some silt, but it's all been left behind here by the process of deposition. And over time, the weight of soil on top of soil kind of presses it down even and makes it really tight and compact. And it becomes sometimes not just soil anymore, but it can even become rock over time. So soil can become rock. So if you ever can find a place where you can actually go below the surface level of soil and see what's beneath it, take a look, see if you can see the different layers and you never know, those layers might be hundreds, maybe even thousands of years old. Looking beneath soil is kind of like taking a trip back in time and it can even tell you a lot about the history of the place you're standing. The soil tells a story, it tells us a lot, and it's really cool to see the different parts of soil at different levels underground. So go explore, look at soil underground, and see what maybe different places you can find.